popping YouTube. It's your girl, Lysa Ali. And as y'all read by the title, y'all already know what's going on. Um, this video a little different, but I feel like I need to do it. So I'm about to do a question and answer, a little get to know me type of vibe. I got some questions on my phone. Um, so let's get straight to it. The first question is, how old are you? I'm 22. My birthday is December 2nd. Thank you. So I'm a Sagittarius, whatever, whatever. Got something to say? No? Okay. Thank you. How tall are you? Um, I'm 5'8-ish. 5'7 and a half, 5'8, whatever, whatever. I'm a tall girl. So keep that in mind. Um, my main goal in life is to not work for nobody. Work for myself. Go travel the world. Enjoy life. Have fun. Um, just be happy, ultimately. Nothing too, too major. Nothing too, too strange. But, you know, something that's obtainable. I think that'll be cool. What are some red flags on the first date? Bad breath. <laughs> Bad breath. That's going to piss me off. On the first date, if your breath smells like... You know? I No. <laughs> No, bad breath really bothers me because are you okay? And then, like, why did you want to come on a date with me if your breath smells like shit? Do you know what I mean? Like, no, we're just, it's just, it's a no. Um, it says some red flags. What's another red flag on a date? If you're on your phone while we're on a date, that's rude. I just feel like... You know, whatever is more important to you that you feel like you need to be on that phone. Uh-uh. Anyway, I feel like if you have something overly important to do on your phone, then that's more important than what's going on here. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just handle your business on your phone and we'll never talk again. Cool? Cool. Um, my biggest, what's my biggest fear? My biggest fear is not being successful, I think. Like, outside of everything else, my biggest fear is not being successful. Of course, like, losing family and losing loved ones, but I feel like I put a lot of hard work into stuff that I want to do, and if I don't get to where I want to go, I feel like that's my biggest fear. It's like, you know, not succeeding in something that I'm trying my hardest to do. Um, yeah. There it goes. My favorite, who is my favorite female artist? My favorite female artist is Tink. Tink, Tink, Tink. That's it. Tink. Do your homework. Um, what's my biggest pet peeve? I don't like dumb stuff, let alone liars. So I feel like, one, it's like people be lying about dumb stuff. So it just, it coincides with each other. I don't like liars, because why would you lie? You could literally just tell me the truth. Like, and it's cool. It is what it is. Okay, you can go move around over there, and I'm going to go move around over here. Or, you know what I'm saying? We can have a conversation about what's going on. But when you lie, it's like, is you cool? No? Cool. Let's not be cool. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's no point. And I don't like dumb stuff because it just bothers me. It just makes me mad. Like, why do you, why do you act the way you act? Why do you move the way you move? You know what I'm saying? It's just, whew, stresses me out. How is your mental? Um... Right now, my mental is good, for real. Um, I done been in a bad space mentally before, but right now, I can definitely say, like, I'm better than where I was prior to where I am now. Um, I wouldn't say I'm just overly the best, but, like, right now, my mental is definitely good. Um, got a long way to go still, but it's definitely good. I feel like right now, my biggest thing is just, like, being by myself make a lot of stuff easier, and I think... Um, there's no expectations when I'm by myself. So I think me chilling by myself and learning myself a lot more made it a lot easier because I don't have no outside energy, no outside drama, no outside nothing, like, dictating whatever else is going on or, like, hindering whatever else is going on or just, like, anything. Like, I don't have no outside nothing. It's just everything easier because I'm by myself right now. And um, I've been feeling that. Um, I don't mind having company, though, but... Yeah, everything definitely been easier by myself. So take heed to that. Take the time that you need to yourself for sure. What's something that you want to accomplish in life? Um, something that I want to accomplish in life for sure. I mean, this is a good question. Mm. Something I, I want to accomplish a lot in life. But one thing, if I had to pick one thing, would be like buying my own house or buying my mom and them house. Like that's something that I want to do. Like. Okay, my mom and them probably, you know, I'm I might be able to buy them some property, but my dad really take care of a lot of situations, so 
I probably wouldn't be able, you know what I'm saying, but just taking care of my people, that's something I really want to accomplish in life, like, being able to go go and move around how I want to at a young age, being able to spend money how I want to, just going able, like, going and being able to do stuff without having to worry about, oh, well, where does money gonna come from, and like, anything like that, like, just being able to take care of myself for myself, by myself, yeah, my fault, but yeah, stuff like that, like, that's definitely something big I want to accomplish. Something that I could actually pinpoint and write down as a goal. Like, for YouTube, I want to get far on YouTube. Like, I want to have a million a million subscribers, all that stuff. It's going to take some time, but we're going to get there. Just, like, you know, small little stuff. But ultimately, like I, t like I said before, the goal is to not work for nobody. So, just making myself work for myself. You know what I'm saying? If it makes sense, it makes sense. If it doesn't, we're going to stay. How did you adjust to not playing basketball? Um, I didn't play this year, and it was kind of, this is a good, like, whew, I ain't going to say it was easy, because it was not easy at all. Like, getting to college and playing sports my whole entire, like, college career, and then going cold turkey and not playing at all, it's kind of weird. Um, it definitely was weird just knowing, like, I don't have a schedule no more. Like, playing sports, being an athlete, it gives you a set schedule. So, it's like, okay, I know I got to get certain stuff done by this time. I know I got to do this by this time. But not playing sports kind of just made it to where it's like, I'm literally just here. And I really didn't like that feeling because it's like, damn, I feel like I'm like I feel like feel uh, I'm a failure. And I don't like to feel like that. But um, at, at a point in time, I just found, like, small stuff to, like, keep me going. So whether that was getting on social media, whether that was taking pictures, like at a point in time it was there was basketball games and I knew, like damn, I feel like I'm supposed to be at the gym right now getting ready for the game, but like I'm taking that time to throw on the outfit right quick and go post it on social media just because like I like to get dressed and sometimes like getting dressed make me feel better. So just getting into like different stuff that I know like I have interest in, t start taking a little bit of those things a little bit more serious just off the strength that I know like some point at some point, basketball is going to stop. At some point, I'm definitely going to have to put the ball down, and I just didn't think that it was going to come so soon. So now that I did put it down, just, like, maneuvering and figuring out small things that make me happy and make, like, feel the void of, okay, well, boom, basketball going, what's next? Like, I've always had a job, so I went to go get a job. Uh, but like I said, I really don't, you know, just the job just be a, a, a place to maneuver. I really don't want to keep working and stuff like that. I want to do stuff that's fun, like, um, so there was that. Um, I won't say I'm adjusted now. Like, I still be feeling the type of way or whatever. Um, uh, but it is what it is. Like, you know, I'm going to pick it back up. I still got another year to play, but it's just the fact of I didn't think that it was going to happen right now. Like, I'm planning. I had I had a plan set. Like, okay, well, after basketball, I'm going to do this. And after basketball, da, 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 da. And then basketball stopped. So it's like. Oh, okay, well, let me try to figure out how to do this right now. Like, just making like making stuff that I already said that I was going to do, just turn it into my reality for the time being until I pick the ball back up because eventually I'm going to pick it back up, and eventually, like, I'm going to have to set it back down again. So just kind of setting myself up to be in a good position to where I can maneuver. Like, okay, well, I, need, I know that since I'm doing this, I need to figure out how to keep doing this when I pick up basketball again, if that makes You know what I'm saying? But, um... You know, just small stuff to keep my mind going, to keep me happy, keep me in a good spot. Um, taking myself out on dates, like I said. Getting closer to myself. Taking the time out for myself, by myself. Uh, I think that was definitely one of the big things. Like, I done took myself out to eat. I done went just going to go do random stuff that, like, you know, make me feel better. Like, and I, I was cool with it. Um, being around some of my friends, though, definitely took a, took, made a... Bleh, bleh. Being around some of my friends definitely had a big impact on... Like, how I maneuvered through stop playing basketball, too. Like, just checking on my friends and my friends checking on me and stuff like that was definitely cool. But it's kind of hard, like, being all the way away from home. Like, you know? So, it just was weird. But, um, like I said, I won't say I'm fully adjusted. But I have kind of, like, moved around from all the whole basketball stuff. I'm not done with it, though. Don't never, You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't think just because I said I didn't move around. I'm not done with it, but... How did I adjust to it this year? It was hard, but um, I'm making it. We're here. Next question is, what makes you smile? Uh, my friends, like my genuine friends, making other people smile and making other people happy. Seeing people, like, 
seeing people do good make me happy because I know at one point in life, like, it's going to be my time. You know what I'm saying? So, I think that a lot of that stuff make me smile. Like, the small, the dumbest stuff might really make me smile, make me laugh. Like, I don't know. But I do get a, I do get a joy out of, like, making other people laugh and making other people smile and stuff like that. I think that play a big part in who I am for real. Um... I smile a lot, though. So, like, the smallest stuff can make me smile. You can give me a compliment, I can smile. You can literally say, hey, and I'm like, hey, and just smile. Like, you know, just having good energy kind of make me smile. So, if I know I got good energy and I'm feeling good, like, I want other people to feel that, too, because I feel like it's, it's going to be days where I don't feel good and somebody going to give me good energy and it might turn me up. So, I just know, like, some people, you know, sometimes some people need to smile. So, Seeing other people smile definitely make me smile. Seeing other people do good or, you know what I'm saying, knowing that I'm doing good or knowing that I'm doing something positive for myself, like, definitely make me smile, too. What made you want to start YouTube? I think this is a good last question. Well, it's really, yeah. It's, mm, it's a lot of stuff. Like, I've, I've always been big on watching YouTube. Like, I've been watching YouTube, like, DK4L, like, I've been turned on YouTube, but I just never had the confidence to sit there and actually, like, film my own videos, record my own videos, put myself out there, because sometimes I do not like hearing myself talk, and it's annoying, so, like, even when I be on TikTok, and I think that was a big thing, like, a big thing for me was TikTok taking a turn for me, like, when my videos start going viral on TikTok, or whatever the case was, I start feeling the type of way, like, okay, this is kind of cool, like, but I never was really just, like, on it too, too much. So once TikTok started doing something, I was like, huh, okay, that's cool. And then I really, like, I literally only sit and watch YouTube. Like, I watch a lot of YouTubers. So I be sitting there watching the stuff that they do on a day-to-day -day basis in their normal life. And I just feel like I record a lot and take pictures a lot as is, so why not put it out, you know? Um, so now we're here. I ain't gonna say I'm consistent as I need to be, but I'm definitely, like, still working on it, still learning, like, still trying to get, um, into the swing of everything, but I enjoy being on YouTube, YouTube is a cool community, I enjoy watching people on YouTube, and it's, like, small, straight to the point, and it's raw, real, and uncut, I think that's the biggest thing for me, like, reality TV shows is cool, all the extra stuff, like, all that stuff is cool, but it's not nothing that I can, like, not nothing that I can put into my real life, and I think that'd be, like, a big thing for me, I like watching stuff, like, engaging in stuff that I can put into my life, something that I might be able to learn from, something I might be able to do, something I might be able to pick up on, whatever the case is, and I think YouTube ain't never, it ain't never too far off, so that's what made me pick up YouTube, pick up the camera for real, and actually start recording, etc., etc. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit about me, um, I'll probably end up recording if posting another Q&A, get to know me, something, something, whatever, whatever. Soon, um, I did only post a little video, the little picture today, though, so, and I wanted to record a video today, so I did that, made sure I got that, um, but, yeah, in the cup, <laughs> um, that's all I got for today, that's all I really got for this video, it ain't really too much, straight to the point, but I just want to let y'all know who I am, you know? I'll be watching my videos on YouTube, so it's like, mm, who are you? Um, but yeah, that's all I really got. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. That's it. Love you.